YouTube remarketing. I'm going to show you today how to create YouTube remarketing lists. Remarketing, retargeting, really at the end of the day is the same thing. And you guys have asked me a number of times to show you guys how to go through and set up this YouTube remarketing and how to set up these AdWord campaigns. And so I figured I'd just shoot this video and break down step by step exactly how to do this. Now, if you're completely brand new to the channel, you're like, man, what is YouTube remarketing? Like, what does that even mean? Basically, if you've had someone visit your website, if you have somebody that is a lead in your company and your database, or maybe somebody's watched your YouTube channel, they visit your YouTube page, something like that, you're able to actually go through and advertise specifically to those people. Now, you might be thinking, well, why would we want to actually go through and do that? What's the benefit? Well, if they've already visited your website, if they're on your list of leads, if they've already watched a YouTube video of yours or they've visited your YouTube channel, you're going to convert these people at a lot lower cost per lead. For example, when I'm going through and marketing to a completely cold audience on YouTube, I'm usually getting about 5 to $6 per lead. Whereas with my YouTube remarketing campaigns, I'm getting less than $1 per lead time and time again. So it's a fraction of the cost because people already know who you are. They like you. They trust you. And so it makes it that much more effective. So let's get in. I want to show you guys inside of Google AdWords how to actually set up these YouTube remarketing lists. So that's what they call them. Um, Facebook calls them audiences, but this is more YouTube remarketing lists of lists of people you're going to actually go through and market to. So you see right here, this is kind of a new Google AdWords account right here just for demonstration purposes. And I have a few remarketing lists already created, but um, what you're going to do is come over here to tools and then you're going to come over here to this audience manager. So it's under the shared library. All right. So if we come over here to audience manager, this is where we're going to go through and be able to create these remarketing lists. So you see re remarketing right here. You've got the custom audiences. And the cool thing is, if you guys are familiar with Facebook ads and how they create their lookalike audiences, what YouTube will do is they'll automatically create what is called similar to audiences. Okay, so you can see right here, you've got like all the channel visitors, um, all visitors from like all your websites, and they'll actually automatically create this for you. So you don't even have to go in and set up these lookalike audiences like on Facebook, but they're called similar audiences right here on YouTube. So what we're going to do is we just come over here to click this plus button right here and you got to say like, okay, am I going to go after website visitors, YouTube users, app users? I've never really used app users, um, a customer list, but like the main ones are website visitors, which you're going to go through and put in the URL to your website, YouTube users, which I'm going to show you guys this one in this demonstration today. And that's basically capturing the data of all people who've already watched your videos, people that have liked your videos, subscribed to your channel. And then also a customer list, which also will show you guys this one actually as well, just because it's very beneficial. And this is usually the easiest place to get started because most people, if you have some sort of business, you probably got a few leads or emails or phone numbers of people you can upload into YouTube, okay, or into Google AdWords, sorry. So this one, so like let's say you want to go through and create a YouTube remarketing list for YouTube users, we just click right here. And then right here, we can say, okay, list members viewed any video from my channel. Okay, and then you go through and select your channel. But look at this, you got a few cool things that you could do right here. So you could say, hey, viewed any video. And now I've got some videos on my channel that are more geared towards like, let's say Facebook ads or Instagram ads or more geared to just real estate agents. So maybe for certain ads, I don't want to go and retarget every single person because if somebody like watched a video like how to make money on YouTube and another person's like a real estate agent looking how to generate leads for their real estate business, like the people watching the, the video of like how to make money on YouTube, that's a very different prospect than the person that is a real estate agent wanting to go through and grow the real estate business. So what you could do as well is you can say, hey, I only want to select certain videos on my channel. So anyone that's watched any of these videos that are real estate based or Facebook ads based or making money on YouTube or anything like that. So you can go through and segment all these different options here. So you can say, hey, people who subscribe to my channel, people who have just visited the channel page. So this could be a good option, which I wouldn't necessarily recommend doing this, but if you want, if you're like all about just getting more subscribers and you wanted to go through and say, hey, anyone that's visited my channel page but's not subscribed, 
I want to go through and run a quick ad and just invite them to subscribe to my channel. Now, if you really understand how YouTube works and all that, subscribers at the end of the day is really just a vanity metric. It's not really going to make you make any more money. That's more based off of views and watch time and a lot of other things there. Um, but just that's that's kind of like an example of how you can go through and do that. Like any video from a channel. But for this one, let's just say viewed certain videos. So we come over here, we click viewed certain videos. We choose your YouTube channel, whatever that is. And then we're going to come down here and let's just say, hey, I only want to do videos that deal with Instagram. Okay, so we come in here with this one right here, how to create Instagram ads. Got 193,000 people that have watched that. And then I would just go through and I would just select any video or you could even type in right here Instagram and see all the videos I've got. So how to advertise on Instagram, Instagram marketing tips. I just choose all of these. And this would be like if I'm going through and trying to have people opt in for an Instagram marketing course or an Instagram marketing checklist or something like that, then I would be able to select all these people because I know they're interested in Instagram, Instagram marketing, advertising, all that. And then when I shoot a video, I can have that ad specifically target only these people who have watched it. Okay, so like I already know that they're Instagram, they're interested, sorry, in Instagram. So I just go through, select all these, and then say, okay, initial list size. You can go through and start with an empty list, basically meaning, hey, starting from today, moving forward, only collect those people who have viewed it, or include people who have actually viewed my videos within the last 30 days. Now, I like to do this one just because you immediately get a number of people on that list which you can see some of these videos got thousands of views and so you're able to already have that audience right away. And then membership duration. This is beneficial right here because if somebody watched your YouTube video, let's say on Instagram marketing or something like that, and then you know it's been like 30 days or 60 days or 90 days, they may have forgotten that they watched that video, they may not recognize your face, they might not remember you, and so it's almost like they become part more of your cold audience. Whereas creating these YouTube remarketing lists is all about capitalizing that warm market, that hot audience. So you might want to go through and have different audiences where say like, hey, I only want to go through and have an ad running to people who have watched an Instagram video, one of these Instagram videos within the last day. Okay, because that's like a super hot audience. They just barely watched it. So you know they're very interested in Instagram marketing, Instagram advertising, or like for your business, for whatever example you're trying to go through and use because they've watched it within the last 24 hours. They'll remember your face, they'll remember who you are, what you said, that the video was good or not, and so the chances of opting in will be a lot higher. However, you know, usually like if you only got a few videos like I do right here on Instagram, you probably are not going to have like hundreds or even thousands of people who have watched that specific video. So a lot of times it's good to open it up to about 30 days because then you, let's say you're getting a thousand people to watch it every single day. After 30 days, you're going to have a, an audience of 30,000 people. Okay, so now we're going to come down here. Let's just give this a name so it doesn't give us an error here. Um, watched IG video. Okay, and then we just hit create. And then what happens is YouTube is just going to automatically create this audience for us. You can see it's populating. That doesn't mean you you can't go use that. You can just go through and start setting up your ad campaign targeting this specific audience. Now you might be thinking, okay, well, how do I actually target that audience when I'm setting up a new campaign? Well, let me just show you guys. So I want to show you guys everything, so you're not having any questions after this video. What we're going to do is come over here. Um, so sorry, I went through that quick. We click campaigns because we're going to create a new remarketing campaign and then we click on this plus button right here. We click new campaign and then what I like to do is I like to usually do leads. Okay, so I like I'm going after leads. I'm trying to go through and generate leads for my business. That's usually the objective that I like to choose. So this is very similar to like how Facebook has their marketing objectives. YouTube, Google AdWords basically. Um, it's the same type of thing. So we're just going to click on leads and then this is YouTube remarketing, right? So we're going to go through and click on video and then we're going to say, okay, drive conversions. Yes, continue. And this is where we're going to actually choose that audience that we just created. Okay, so we're going to say YouTube remarketing list and you can say IG 
bid viewers or whatever you want to name it doesn't really matter you're gonna give it a budget coming down here you where you're gonna actually choose sorry let's see here okay so right here in the audiences this is where you're gonna actually find this audience so you're gonna click on browse and then you're gonna go down here to see how they have interacted with your business so this is remarketing in similar audiences so we're just gonna click on this and then we've got YouTube users and then we'll have this campaign show up down here okay so right where is it watch IG video so right here see how it's like this is blank right there that's because it's still uploaded it's still populating you can still use it it's not a big deal um, and then for all the other like targeting options like keywords topics placements you're just gonna leave those demographics just leave that as is and then this ad group name you say watch IG video YouTube remarketing list all right so then down here you would put in your YouTube video so let's just grab I'll just show you guys the exact way to do this so let me just grab one of my videos it's like let's say this is it doesn't matter which video I mean obviously it does matter which video in the you're next use, 60 seconds I'm gonna, show I'm gonna you. say let's I'm gonna use this video so you just throw in the URL right there and then you've got the final URL where you're wanting to actually send the people to and um, so like this would be an example like your landing page like for example I've got this landing page where I send most people to my Facebook ads quick start guide okay just put that in there call to action download and with uh, with Google when you're setting up these ad campaigns they don't give you a lot of text right here so you just kind of got to have like one word like registered or download or um, learn more or something like that give it a headline and then you just hit save we'll give it an ad name and then hit save and continue okay so guys that is exactly how to go through and create your YouTube remarketing list people have already watched videos on your YouTube channel visit your channel specific videos and it's the same exact strategy if we were to go back so if we go to tools shared library audience manager so we're just gonna leave this and then if you wanted to go here and do a customer list or if you're not want to do a customer list and you want to do people who visit your website you can easily do that as well so it's the same exact strategy and then you go create a new campaign and then in that audience section that's where you're gonna choose the exact remarketing list and then your budget is really going to depend on how big that audience is. So if you've got like, for example, right here, uh, this one's on my, my channel, Jason Wardrop channel, anyone that's watched a real estate video and there should be a timeline on that. I probably named that wrong, but there's 22,000 people right here on search, 32,000 people on YouTube, 18,000 display and 10,000 in Gmail. So with 32,000, you know you kind of got to just base your budget off of that of how long you're gonna run the ad so like if I'm gonna run the ad for probably you know four to six weeks or anything like that I'll probably spend about 50 bucks a day and then kind of like just see how the cost per lead adjusts based off of this audience size so anyway guys I hope this video was helpful if it was go ahead give it a thumbs up I know a lot of you guys were asking about all this YouTube remarketing and because I've talked about in previous videos that it's a killer strategy to go and generate leads, make money on YouTube, and retarget your existing audiences and send them to your products, your courses, your lead magnets, whatever it is. And so I figured, you know, I've talked about it, how it's a killer strategy. Might as well show you guys step by step. So um, if you guys enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Also, if you are brand new here, my name is Jason Wardrop. I launch new videos every single week on how to generate more leads, make more money, and grow your business. So make sure you subscribe. Hit that notification bell and with that said, I will see you all in the next video.